Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Cheatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Skycadia. This game was published and developed by Studio Nisei. It was released on January 22nd, 2021 for $9.99. Now, in this game, you'll be able to get most of the achievements in about an hour. However, we have an achievement related to playing for two and five hours. Let's go ahead and check out the achievements real quick. We have one for completing our first bounty hunt, for collecting 80,000 bounty, and then we have to get 100, 250, and then finally 500 bounty in a single run. That's pretty easy. Defeat 10 enemies, 100 enemies, and then finally 1,000 enemies. We have to play for 20 minutes, play for an hour, and then finally play for 5 hours. All of the other achievements are related to collecting a certain amount of bounty over time. This adds up over all of your different games, and ultimately we need to collect 100,000 bounty to unlock the last achievement related to bounty, and that's for unlocking the charge shot, which is unlocked after collecting a total of 100,000 bounty. So let's go ahead and get started. When you first start playing, you're going to be playing in first person mode. I ended up playing my first level in first person mode just to try it out. Now, ultimately, I recommend switching to a third person view. Just so you can see your plane, I found that I was able to score a lot more points when I wasn't playing in the first person view. To switch your view to third person, you would want to press the Y button. Now, this is basically a high score style game, except your score is represented by the amount of bounty that you've obtained. Every time you shoot down an enemy, some coins drop down. What you want to do is make sure that you collect these coins because you don't automatically get the bounty after killing your enemy. You want to make sure that you shoot them down and most importantly you want to make sure that you actually fly and pick up the bounty that drops below the enemy that you've killed because again it doesn't automatically collect it. Now that was footage of literally the first time I ever played the game. I ended up unlocking the Rufflin Feathers achievement worth 80 gamer score for collecting at least 500 bounty. More than likely you should at least collect 500 your first run. Ultimately we need to collect 100,000 total. So we really only have 1.5% of the amount of bounty that we need to get all of the achievements. Now you're still going to keep unlocking achievements. I also unlocked the chicken tender achievement for completing my first bounty hunt. And I had also unlocked my first achievement related to killing enemies, which is for killing 10 enemies. Now basically the way it works is you can get hit up to 5 times. You want to survive as long as you can and collect as much bounty as you can. Now this clip right here is some footage of the best run that I had. I ended up collecting a little over 16,000 bounty in this run. At that pace, you know, you would only have to play about 6 matches to get all of the bounty related achievements. After that, all you need to do is make sure that you kill 1,000 enemies in total and that you play for a total of 5 hours. You can actually merge these together if you have a turbo controller quite easily. And this is because, again, we need to play for 5 hours and the game only counts the playtime if you're actually playing in the bounty mode. If you're playing in the cruising mode, it does not count towards the playtime needed for the achievement. You actually have to be playing this mode, which again is the bounty mode. Now there's a trick to it, you can plug in a turbo controller and just turbo the A button and what's going to happen is you're going to just start flying straight forward and planes are going to start crashing into you. The thing is is that when a plane crashes into you, that counts as a kill. So basically, you have a potential to get up to 5 kills before you die. So the way that I got the achievement for playing for 5 hours and getting 1000 kills was again by plugging in a turbo controller and turboing the A button. That way when I die, it automatically started another game. And basically, again, what would happen is I would get hit by five planes. Typically, these planes would crash into me. Or, you know, I'm turboing the A button, which is also the shoot button. So if any planes fly in front of you, that's also going to be an easy kill. But on average, about every time it played a game of bounty, I got about five kills. And with the turbo controller, it's automatically going to keep starting that game over and over again, which allows you to rack up that play time without actually playing. So basically what I did is I played the game for about an hour. I got all of the achievements related to the bounty. And by the time I got my last bounty related achievement, I was just under one hour. So I still had to get my achievement for playing for one hour and then finally five hours. Not only that, but I had that last achievement related to getting 1000 kills. So again, all you gotta do after you get your bounty related achievements is plug in a turbo controller if you have one, turbo the A button, and it's going to keep restarting the game, it's going to keep racking up kills. I just left it going overnight, 
And by the time I woke up in the morning, I definitely had my five hour achievement as well as the achievement for 1000 kills. A matter of fact, by the time I woke up, I had about 5,500 kills. So realistically, I only played this game for about 50 minutes, got all of the achievements I needed, and then plugged in a turbo controller to get the 1000 kills as well as the achievement for playing for five hours. Now, as you can see, I'm having a pretty good run here and my strategy is not really to kill any enemies. At this point, there's so many different ships spawning that they're crashing into each other. And all I'm doing is focusing on picking up the bounty that's falling below them. So yeah, if you can survive a few minutes and you can last long enough where this many ships start to spawn, it gets a bit easier to collect bounty because again, you don't really need to focus on shooting enemies too much. You can just focus on picking up all of the bounty that's falling below because there's so many ships and again, most of them are just crashing into each other. I finally ended up dying and I got 16,000 bounty, which again is about 16% of what you need to get that 100,000 bounty achievement. Now after playing for about 50 minutes, I finally unlocked my achievement for getting the charge shot. The charge shot is unlocked after collecting 100,000 bounty. So let's go ahead and see by the time I unlocked my achievement for 100,000 bounty, I still had my achievement for 1,000 kills playing for one hour and then for five hours. So all I did was I plugged in the turbo controller, I turboed the A button, and then after that, just leave it there for about four hours and you should get your achievement for playing for five hours, assuming you already played for an hour, and then as well as the 1,000 kills, that should come naturally as well, because again, worst case scenario, a plane you know goes and like suicides and crashes into you, but that will count as a kill, which is about five kills every time the game plays. And then again, as long as you have that turbo controller plugged in and you're turboing the A button, it's automatically going to start another game. And you pretty much just want to let this cycle until you have your achievement for playing for five hours, as well as the 1000 kills. Again, by the time I ended up waking up and, you know, going back to my Xbox, I ended up having over 5000 kills. So definitely don't worry about getting 1000 kills. You'll definitely get that one naturally, assuming you execute this turbo method for five hours. I also want to point out that you can check your stats at the main menu. This will show how many enemies you have defeated, but I found the best place to look is the achievement stats. Now the achievement trackers don't work, however the achievement stats do. So what you want to do is go to all achievements and you want to press the game. Once you press the game, you want to go down to stats. This will show you how long you have played as well as how many kills you have. As you can see, I have 5,449 kills and I played for over 10 hours. But again, that's just because I plugged in the turbo controller and had it going overnight. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 20 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Blackbird, and Kegger101. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.